everyone and it is Friday um, and I wasn't planning on vlogging but I am vlogging today just so I can see if I can figure out this camera because yesterday so many things were out of focus so I think I did some resets on it and we're going to see if I stay in focus. So during today's vlog if I glance over this direction it's only because I'm looking to see if I have fixed the focusing issues but we are going to give this camera another shot because I do really like it. And when things were in focus, I thought they were really, really clear. So we're gonna go with it. We're gonna try it today, all the things. Um, today, all that's happened so far is I have gone to the gym. I've done some laundry. I put some dishes away. And I prepped behind the stove. Um, that's the tiling that's behind the mirror. It's beautiful. It matches all the other tiling behind the uh, wine fridge and on the um, fireplace. But I have a new mirror coming. I think it matches the style so much more. And then I just cleaned up my stove with some simple uh, method products. Wanted to make sure it was all nice and clean. And then with all the like iron pieces, I throw them in the dishwasher on a gentle cycle. It works every single time. They come out looking literally brand new. Um, that's the easiest way I've discovered to clean those things. So today is really about checking to see if we can get through a vlog with me and focus on this new camera because I think we'll like this new camera um, once we get all of that figured out. So that's what we're gonna go with today. In the meantime, right now, I'm just going to pick up around the house really quick and then we will chit chat. Oh my gosh, and I just remembered. Anne with an E season three has just released today. Um, for all of those who've been following the channel for any length of time, Anne of Green Gables is something really close to my heart. Um, it's one of my favorite books. It's a memory I share with my grandmother, but season three of Anne with an E is now released on Netflix. I'm going to definitely watch an episode right now. I just finished day two of yoga with Adrian. It was amazing. I loved every second of it. Um, also, I'm glancing over. I think I might have figured out our focusing issue. So hopefully this whole vlog is in focus. Um, yeah. Yay! So far, I just pulled everything out of the oven. Look how much cleaner it looks. It looks so nice and clean. These are nice and clean. They feel so nice right now. Um, yeah, I just throw them in my dishwasher, but everything is clean and done, and now we just wait for the mirror to get delivered. It is around 4 o'clock. Wait. 4.30. And today has been the most relaxing day. Steven decided he wants leftovers for dinner tonight so I don't have to cook. And Bubba's and I literally snuggled on the couch and watched two episodes of Anne with an E. I read a little bit. I mean, it has been just a glorious day of relaxation. And this idea of easing into the new year, if your schedule allows it, is so nice. But even if your schedule doesn't allow it, I think thinking through your goals for 2020 and easing into them instead of like going guns blazing and something that might be unsustainable, it just feels so good. Now, granted, Monday we go back to the grind, but um, for right now, I'm just gonna savor this and enjoy it. And then I can pull from it when I need it again. But it's been amazing. Hasn't today been great? Hasn't it been a great day? We snuggled so much, you had dreams. You had so many dreams and you were kicking and yelping and dreaming away and seeping. And we've been outside and we played outside. It's been just such a good day. <laughs> Is daddy coming? Is daddy coming home soon? Go check, go check. Is daddy coming home soon? Go check, let's see, he might be in the window. Get up there. What's going on? Did daddy come home soon? You don't like Tilly this way. You like your head the other way. You're the best dog. I'm telling you, I know other people think their dog is the best, but you are the best. I'm like that parent whose kid does nothing wrong. So today has just been so, so chill. 
I also think I figured out this camera. I think it's working. Um, yeah, waiting for the mirror to get delivered, the new one, um, and then we'll install it. And all I'm going to use to install it are um, the large command strips that you would use to like, let me see if I have them over there right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna use these large command strips. I have that Times candle that Jen Ross sent me, that peppermint hot cocoa. I almost have this one burned down too, and it is amazing. Honestly, one of the most questions we get, oh, he's all wound up, um, is if this fiddle leaf fig is real or not. You have to explain, so talk about all the the things to know about a fiddle leaf fig. So when we got this fiddle leaf fig, got it from the nursery, we loaded it in the back of our car with your parents and I like was out of the hatchback and like holding on to it so it wouldn't leave the trunk. Yeah. So it was like maybe about that tall on both branches. So um, I uh, fertilized it, I, I fed it, I watered it repotted it. I took it outside on good days because it likes to have fresh air. So I nursed it back to health because a lot of the leaves dropped off. And it's happy in front of this window because it gets uh, southeastern exposure over here. And I turn it every so often. But um, what I did was I... Um, He's so proud of this thing. I am. I'm like <laughs> the fiddle. I'm the fiddle leaf fig whisperer. So now none of the leaves really fall off and they're all very happy. Uh, but what I did was I cut off one of the, the, the crowns and uh, three like different branches grew back. So I think it's gonna grow <laughs> this way <laughs> and we'll have room uh, for the fiddle leaf fig because it's gotten really big um, uh, it likes the sun, it likes the window over here. Don't like put it in the dining room where there's not that much sun. So this window is perfect for it. Um, it's very happy. Like in the summer, I'll take it outside, hose it down and <laughs> leave it out there for a couple days so that it enjoys the sun. And I de-dust it because the dust falls off. I You're so it. nerdy. So it's, is, I mean, we went to a store and there was a hundred dollar fiddle leaf fig, fake fiddle leaf fig for sale. And it was not nearly as nice as this one. Feel free to call me because I've done the research. This was your fiddle leaf fig education with Steven. He is so proud of that plant. <laughs> I've done other plants too. He's, he actually is like a very green thumb. He's very good at them. They commit suicide on me. So it is going on seven o'clock and I'm actually gonna go meet Danielle for dinner. Um, and Steven and I just took Bubba's for a walk, talked a lot about some things we want to do with the house. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head off to dinner. Well, I'm gonna head off to dinner with Danielle. Steven had a very long day at work. He's gonna chill with the dog and yeah, little change in plans, but it'll be a great, great evening. Also, Danielle and I haven't exchanged our Christmas gifts yet because we've both been so busy with family and also just decompressing from work. So we're gonna do that this evening as well. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. I am prepping some chicken for enchiladas that I'm making for dinner tonight, but I figured if I can get them cooked and shredded earlier today, even better. I'm just going to add quickly two shallots. Now I'm going to add some green chilies. Then I'm just gonna add some cumin and a little chili seasoning. And I'm just gonna let this cook on low till it's done and ready to be shredded. When I got home last night, the new mirror came. How perfect is it? I now just love the whole like neutral vibe of the kitchen. I just like, it's just perfect. These are seriously my new favorite mugs. I love them so much. The gym doesn't open until six, so I have lots of time to just enjoy this cup of coffee and then um, head there. So, cheers. It is 5.45, I'm gonna head off to the gym. It opens at six, I'll get there right in time, and then, um, 
yeah, I'm going to try to work out for an hour and then head home. And I thought when we come home, I would do a what's in my gym bag um, portion of the vlog for you. Going to grab my phone, my keys, a new Fraser Fur um, car thing. I bought like seven of them over December, so I have a bunch. And then my Hydro Flask, and we are ready to go. I am home from the gym. I am all cleaned up. I, it's about eight o'clock, so I was there for almost two hours because I got there right at six. Um, I did a run interval. I did um, the stair climber um, and then did some arms and abs. Still have yoga to do today, but that's just more fun and relaxing. Came home and uh, shredded the chicken up. Now I'm just letting it cool. So this is all set to be put in the chicken and cheese enchiladas later tonight for dinner. Feeling very accomplished for 8 a.m. So I'm gonna make myself another cup of coffee and just chill. It is now 11 o'clock. Uh, I was all cleaned up with nice neat hair, but I fell asleep on the couch for like an hour and a half, two hours with Bubby. Um, it's fine, I needed a little bit more sleep. I knew this morning when I woke up I didn't have quite enough in me. So feeling better now, but I promised you guys I would do a what's in my gym bag, so I thought I'd show you really quick what I keep in my gym bag. If you watched my what I got for Christmas video, you know that my new gym bag is this extra large Landon tote from Dagny Dover. Absolutely love it. And inside, I'm just gonna show you really quick like what I keep with me. So because it's winter, um, I keep extra like, like one of those like ear headbands and gloves just in case I forget. Um, something to keep my ears and hands cold when I'm leaving the gym. Um, I also always keep an extra pair of socks. This is like in this little, there's all these little compartments, but this is like in a side pocket. The next thing I keep are my headphones. Usually I'll keep them in the case, but when I use them this morning, I didn't want to put them in the case if they were a little like damp from working out. So I have them just sitting in there right now, but I never thought that I could get into over the ear headphones for working out, but I'm telling you, these Bose ones are so comfortable. They stay on my head, they never budge. I love them so much. I couldn't imagine working out without them and the sound on them is absolutely impeccable. I also always carry my AirPods just in case one of them weren't charged or uh, we're not working. I cannot not have music when I'm working out, so I always keep that. I always keep a face towel. I don't shower at the gym because it's so close, but if I have to run an errand, um, I always wash my face really quick, put on like fresh deodorant, all those things. But um, this face towel is really cute. It's from Wimbledon and I have it monogrammed. Uh, the next thing is my gym towel, which these are my favorite ones. They're by Run It. I live by these things. This one's actually kind of gross right now. Um, they have like these elastic bands. So like oftentimes I'll like slip this around my water bottle so it stays together. Um, and I don't drop it or leave it somewhere, but I love these. I have like five of them that I use constantly for the gym. In this pocket, I always keep an extra roll of KT tape. I use this for my knee. It's a total game changer. I love it. Also, I always keep Body Glide. Um, this is when I was training for the half marathon. It made it to my gym bag. In case I have to do like a long run on a treadmill, I always keep this with me just like you would wear for a half marathon. Um, yeah, this is the best stuff ever. You cannot run any long distance race without this. So this doesn't come with the bag. This is the Dagny Dover um, like little toiletry case. In here I keep a native deodorant. I also keep a, these are my favorite hand sanitizer sprays from the Honest Company. You can get these at Target. I have some Rituals Miracle Wipes. I have a fresh sugar lip treatment with sunscreen. I have a quick like travel size cleanser. I have a quick moisturizer and then, uh, and it's just from Kiehl's and it's the Brightening and Smoothing Moisture Cream. I keep one of my Diptyque fragrances of 34 in here. So if I have to run somewhere, I know I don't stink. And then I also keep one of my By Terry's Cellurose Brightening CC Serums. 
Um, what I love about this one is it's just skincare, but it has a tint to it. So if I have to run somewhere after the gym really quick, I'll put a couple dabs of this on and rub it in. It helps like reduce like how red I look so I don't look a complete disaster. I always keep nail clippers because you never know. Um, and then in this little pouch, I just have contacts and lens wipes just in case I need them. I always, always, always carry a sweatshirt once again. If I have to run somewhere, I don't want the sweaty shirt on, so I always have a sweatshirt with me. This one is one of my favorites. Uh, this is Women Will Change the World. Little feminist action leaving the gym. And then in this bag, I probably have some resistance bands. I don't like using the ones at the gym. It skeezes me out. I can't do it. And my jump rope. And then I have two more things to share with you. Um, this one is a charcoal absorber. So like it absorbs moisture and odors. I keep these in all of my like travel bags or gym bags. Um, really, really handy. And then a cup that I've been loving, um, Stojo. They make these cups. This one's actually wet because I just rinsed it out because I use it at the gym. My gym has a coffee bar and juice bar and all the things in it. So I always take a reusable cup just to like save a little bit on the environment. But this one just comes apart. Has like a little straw, which I really actually enjoy. And then you stick the straw down in. But then when you're not using it, this part comes off. You just <coughs> pop it back together. Stick the straw back in the little cup. Screw this back on. Snap this up on the bottom and throw it back in your bag. So that is what I carry in my gym bag. I have the envelope case. I also got this for Christmas and the, this together. I haven't put anything in here yet, but I'm sure I will eventually. But those are the things that I'm currently carrying and loving in my gym bag. All right, I'm gonna stick this all back in here. Steven is out with Bubba's and the snow is still falling and it's such a beautiful flakes. It's supposed to snow most of the day. Um, but yeah, it's just so beautiful out. It is now going on five o'clock and I'm just going to make our dinner, which is the enchiladas um, that I'd already prepped this morning. Today has been pretty low key. I've done a lot of work just to prepare for Monday. This is the enchilada sauce I use. Um, nothing fancy. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put a layer of it in the bottom of my pan. Oh, you guys can't see that. So now I just put some of the chicken, then put some cheese, and then I'm just gonna go seam side down into the pan. And that's really it. I'm just gonna keep making these and rolling them. They are the easiest, easiest dinner to make. Now that those are done, all I'm going to do, and I probably won't use all of this, is just top it with the enchilada sauce, making sure that each one is covered. I'm just gonna top this with a little bit more cheese. And now we're just gonna throw it in the oven until this is all melted and heated and bubbling. So I think we're always really quick to do like a taco night um, because we think it's quick and simple. But like mix it up and do enchiladas. I'm telling you, if you do the slow cooker thing, it is just as easy. If not, it might be a little bit easier. All right, I'm gonna let those go and then we're gonna have dinner. Here are the finished enchiladas. They look amazing. I'm serving Stevens with some Spanish rice. It was just like microwavable from, I mean, Trader Joe's. And then I'm just gonna have an enchilada by itself. I'm gonna serve these up, we're gonna have dinner, and then I'm gonna go take a bath. I'm gonna go take a bath. Do you wanna take a bath? He hates a bath. I won't, I won't make you take a bath, I promise. Do you want an enchilada? Do you want an enchilada? Do you? Look at that tail. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. I am ending tonight with a bath. So I have the candles lit. I keep all my salt, my Epsom salts right in here. Add a couple spoonfuls of Epsom salts. The next thing I'm going to do is pick out one of these bath bombs that Steven got me. I also have this petite bath oil and I'm just gonna put a couple drops of that in the tub. This is shea and coconut.
That smells so good. All right, we'll drop that in. Also have my hydro flask of water. I think we're all set. And then I think the last thing I'm going to grab is, this is a little messy. I'm gonna do a mask, and I think I'm gonna do one of my SK2 masks. All right, time to unwind. Tonight I use two products from The Body Shop Calendar, and I love them. So one was the Coconut Exfoliating Body Scrub. It was amazing. And then I just moisturized with the, oh, what's this called? The Nourishing Body Butter. It was amazing too. I love this exfoliator because sometimes they leave like a residue on your skin and this rinsed off completely clean. I felt wonderful. I get so many requests around a night routine and I really haven't changed my night routine in a very long time. There are only two cleansers I've been using um, religiously for like the last year and a half and I swear by them. So I'm gonna share a little bit about what I do in the evening and I hope you find it helpful. I did already like wash my face but I'm gonna wash it one more time using my Clarisonic Mia. This thing has lasted me for years. The two cleansers that I go back and forth with but will never probably leave are these two. This is the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. Absolutely love it. And the other is the Amazing Face Cleanser. That's what it's called by Aesop. Tonight we're gonna use the Drunk Elephant one though. I think the focus has been way better. And bear with me because I have to get out my uh, headband because I hate getting it in my hair. So just going to take the cleanser on my Mia and wash my face. Now, I should let you know, I did not use the SK2 um, mask, so uh, typically I'd let that soak in a little bit more. Um, the next product is my favorite, and it has a smell that you either love or you hate. I love it, and it is the Bitter Orange Astringent by Aesop. Once again, absolute favorite. I just put it on a little cotton pad. I have probably gone through five to six of these. I love it that much. I feel like this just gets off any other grime that I may have on my face. The only thing that's really changed is I've added this um, skincare fridge to the game. There are two serums I go back and forth with. One is the Linair Revitalizing Hydrating Serum. Really love it, it's fantastic. But the one I've really been loving is the Honest Company uh, Vitamin C Radiance Serum, love it. And now I'm just gonna put a couple pumps on my fingertips. I'm just gonna put this all over my face. This goes on so smooth, it absorbs so well into your skin. In the morning, my moisturizer is the La Mer Soft Cream, but in the evening, I love Origins High Potency Nitamins, so I always use this in the evening, and I have found that chilling it, oh, it's so amazing. After that, I go in with the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. A little bit of this goes a really long way. It's a beautiful, like, rose gold color. I just put a couple dabs under each eye, and then just, I'm more of a presser in. So just press that in under my eye. The last thing I do, and I've not changed this out for, I mean, I was talking about this when I started the channel, and that is I always end with the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Spray. Just let everything set in. Give this a spray. That's my skincare routine. That is legit what I've been doing every single night. It really, really works for me. Um, I mean, I've not, I could not be happier with my skin. Um, I've had probably the best skin I've had in the last year. So um, that's what I do every night. It's simple. Well, maybe to some of you it's not simple, but to me, compared to some night routines I've seen, it's simple. Oh, the last thing I do put on though, is the La Mer lip balm. I always end with that. So that is my nighttime routine. That was something I really wanted to share with you because so many have asked about it. I feel like this vlog has included so much content. So we're gonna end it here, my friends. And in the meantime, I'm gonna end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.